Okay. Hello, everyone. I think today is going to be a special webinar. Sorry for some sound problems. Now everything is fine. Mic is set up. So today I will show you how you can combine uh, indicators into a system. So I will not uh, basically I will not uh, tell you about specific systems, but I will show you uh, what indicators and what you should do if you want to create your own strategies and your own potential trading method, methods. So we will concentrate on basically on uh, good proven indicators, uh, but there are uh, many types of indicators. So I will show you what indicators particularly you should use and how you can combine those indicators into effective trading methods. So uh, this isn't again about particular any particular system. It's about uh, indicators which should be, uh, if you if you like, and there are also very useful indicators which should be a part of every successful strategy. And then you will learn how to use those into your advantage. It doesn't matter if you're scalp, if you if you trade intraday, intraweek. Those are indicators which uh, which uh, used which are used basically by particular settings, and they can give you a nice a nice trading methods. Each of them poses and has its own strength. So I will show you what to do and what what not to do. Of course, uh, after uh, my little introduction, my colleague Mr. Mikhail Onohov will present you. And he will tell you a few good things about other markets trading in general. And be sure to stay with me after he finishes his presentation. Mikhail, you can go on and please stay with us. Hello, guys. Good afternoon or good evening to everybody who decided to join us uh, for this webinar session this evening. As Dinat said, today is going to be a pretty special webinar. But before that, my name is Mikhail Onohov. I'm a Flourish Manager for Admiral Markets. And in essence, my job is to create the best possible trading environment for you. Today I wanted to speak to you about one very important thing. Of course, nobody argues that concepts such as uh, indicators, platform and strategies are hugely important for are hugely important. Uh, just one second, let me uh, try to fix my screen because I was told that you cannot see, see my screen right now. Uh, just one second, we're having a bit of a problem today. Maybe you can try one more time. I think we have a little problem with uh, the screen today, so I'm going to pass the floor back to Ninad, and I'll make sure that I'll make it up to you next time we speak, which is going to be tomorrow. I'll now pass the floor back to Ninad, whose screen is supposed to work just fine. Yeah, thank you very much. Unfortunately, we have some problems with screens, but it, it doesn't matter. It's it's uh, important that we don't do not have uh, problems with with trading and with losing the money. That is the most important thing. So, let everything will be sold up. So we will wait for Mikhail for next time. And now today agenda is uh, of course uh, quick walk through indicators. I will give a brief, brief, brief walkthrough through each of indicators. I won't be boring, and uh, I won't be uh, boring with those uh, those uh, arithmetical and algorithmic equations. I will just tell you what each indicator do and why do we use it basically. Uh, then we will go to pivot points and pin bars. Then we will go with particular leading, lagging, and dynamic indicators. And of course, Fibonacci. After that, we will see what general consensus is, and what we should do, and what we should not do. Of course. So again, a webinar is supposed to give you to give you a knowledge about indicators and about particular trading methods. So which you can create after this webinar. So don't go for those custom-made indicators which will which are sold all over the internet for 100 200 300 bucks I don't know all of those indicators 
are having the same equations as those which are built in, into MT4 platform, except of course, let's say, volume spread analysis indicators or particular chart patterns which include inside bars, outside bars, and those other. Those are not included by default on your charting, charting platform, so I'm, I'm talking just about those, particularly those leading length and dynamic indicators. What are Forex indicators? So, a quick introduction to indicators. Quick, quick uh, definition. Indicators is uh, something that tells us something. Uh, it's in Forex. In Forex, an indicator is considered a mirror of price action. Also, an indicator is a mathematical calculation based on a price. Statistics used to measure current conditions as well as to forecast financial or economic trends. Those are all indicators. And the main purpose of using indicators is to define trend. The first is to define trend. So for one, for one trend defining and for particular trend defining, we need only one indicator. To confirm a trend and entry, again, for confirming trend and entry, we only need one trend of one entry indicator. And, and of course, one indicator to confirm a trend. And third, to place stop loss and target price. And for that particular part, we only need one indicator. So now you have probably you have probably concluded why I don't like to have my indicators clustered on a chart. If you see my analysis and if you watch my analysis, you see that my methods are straightforward. I lately, I, I well, maybe last six or seven months, I use my proprietary method, Camarilla-based trading, Camarilla-based analysis. It's Camarilla called Camarilla MACD, which I combine everything which is supported to do a, a nice trading method, not a system, it's a trading method. It, it, uh, when we use indicators and when we use price action and when we, for example, combine it into something, we can either call it a trading strategy or a trading method or a trading system. Trading system is something which is the least complex. Trading system is usually manual manual system used by predetermined set of rules which can and sh and cannot work and it it shouldn't work into in every market condition because market conditions are always changing trading that is trading system trading strategy is particular trading strategy that has its own rules but can be adapted to most of trading conditions and trading method is something that we work every day. Trading method is something that can be combined in every particular market condition. So that is why you need to decide whether you will trade a system, you will trade a strategy, or you will trade particular trading method, of course. And by the way, thanks guys for your emails. I have received, I don't know who sent me, <laughs> A few emails. I have received uh, a lot of emails uh, from last uh, last session recap, and I'm very glad that many of you made money. That you have basically, well, you can listen to my to my uh, analysis, and I have I have been told that many traders really made a lot of money. I don't know if it's true. They some one trader sent me an email saying. He did some 150 pips on trading cable and, and euro dollar, basically, uh, from my last session recap. So, thanks guys, I'm glad, I'm glad that you have made money, so, I'm really proud of you. So, again, classifications of indicators, we have leading indicators. Now, listen to this carefully, because this is the truth about indicators. We have leading indicators. We have lagging indicators, and we have dynamic support and resistance indicators. 
leading indicator can be combined to be an entry indicator. A leading indicator also can be combined to give us an entry, but that is particular theme for the webinar because MACD is, is a lagging indicator. By the rule which is set by the Forex market, a lagging indicator should never be combined into as entry indicator. But uh, if you combine it with particular settings, so if you, let's say, use a MACD uh, on particular settings that are not lagging, that they are basically observing the price action and giving you the right signal to make an entry, then we cannot call MACD only a lagging indicator, but a momentum indicator, and as we know, momentum being is leading the price action, is leading the price action, so we can combine it into effective trading entry. So, I will not uh, now, I will not talk about volume spread analysis, because volume spread analysis is other one of, also of good methods to, to trade uh, um, those markets. So now I will I will I will talk about those specific indicators which are integrated by default on your MT4 platform. So let me again explain. Leading indicators are called oscillators. Lagging indicators are, if used on particular settings, they can they can be momentum indicators such as MACD, and also serve as an entry indicator. And dynamic support and resistance indicators are those which give us dynamic support and resistance levels. Those are moving averages and Bollinger Bands. Static support and resistance levels indicators are Camarilla or any other pivot point indicator. Now, I will, I will answer your questions just after we finish with this webinar, so don't worry. Leading indicators or oscillators are CCI, which is frequently used as entry indicator, RSI, which is basically used to give us an immediate trend. Stochastic is also entry indicator, which uses a complex algorithm to calculate a possible overbought or oversold conditions and by that way we can basically enter the market. Lagging indicators are those which lag. They are basically following the price, they're not leading the price, as they give momentum. I have explained you that on a, on a pendulum once on our webinars, it, it was Chris and, and me, you know what pendulum is? Pendulum, and it goes in a wide arc. It swings. The pendulum swings both ways, okay? Both ways. When the pendulum reaches its top point, it has gained enough momentum to swing, making basically a U-turn of 800, of 180 degrees. So that is pendulum. And every swing of pendulum like this is giving us momentum. That is basically what momentum is. So that is why we need to combine those indicators to have a trend, to have a momentum, and to have an entry. For stop loss we use pivot points, for target price we use pivot points. So is it complicated? And now when I see those systems which are clustered and I will show you uh, later a very successful system which, is be, which was very successful some five years ago but today it's worthless. Today, that system is worthless. I don't say that it's, it's a bad system. On the contrary, 
it, it has good potential and it was good. But because market conditions have changed a lot, you need to adapt. But there are general guidelines what you should follow to adapt. There are general gu guidelines. If you want to, to, to create or if you want to trade a trading method or strategy which involves around indicators, you will use one leading indicator, one lagging indicator, one entry indicator that is basically a thing that you won't see it, uh, the chart, you won't see your chart as clustered and you will use only one of this, either dynamic support or static support. You don't need to use both. If you put it on your chart, your chart will look basically perfectly fine. You will have one main window and you will have few indicators on your chart and entry indicator down there and levels by which you will trade. Then you can use it to chart specific patterns to find divergences and so on. But you don't need to have two entry indicators, three lagging indicators, four of those dynamic or two of those. You only need one. So you need to find one perfectly fine setting which will comply to your trading method and trading market or a trading pair. When I say trading market, I mean I think about particular Euro dollar, Australian dollar, Euro Japanese yen because some indicators do not work uh, same with, with uh, USD crosses and with yen crosses. So you need to find those settings. You need to experiment, guys. In matters which I also teach my students as a mentor, I give them some indicator, some uh, trading methods which I personally use for scalping, let's say, for and for intraday swing scalps or intraday positional trades. But that is what I found it out. And if you want to create your own strategy, not paying for any other, now this is the real story. Only one of leading indicator, only one of lagging indicator, and only one of those. Okay? If you want to trade a method based on indicators. So that is the truth. And when I see cluster charts with three of lagging indicators, it will only sorry for the word, but you will only screw your trading. I, I, and I mean it really, because I'm really tired to see how many people is losing the money each day. And I really want to help. And that is why I, I try to explain the real truth behind those trading methods, strategies, systems, whatever. You don't have to use three, five, six of those. Because if CCI on that particular setting is more effective than stochastics, why would you use both of it? It will only be the average. It will only be that indicator which confirmed you a better entry. If you use those, you will confuse. It will confuse you. It will confuse your charts. So you, you will be confused. CCI, tell me to entry. Stochastic doesn't tell me to entry. What should I do? That is paralyzed by analyze, okay? That is called, we Forex professionals call it par paralyzed by analyze or paralysis by analysis, whatever. So you will be confused. If a momentum, if you have two momentum indicators on your charts, let's say that MACD confirmed an entry, but RSI confirmed the trend and RSI didn't confirm the trend, what will you do? What, uh, what of those indicators, who of those indicators will you trust? Which, which one of those indicators will you trust? That is why you need to find perfectly good setting for, I can, it cannot be perfectly, but it can be 70% good setting for leading to give you also a possible entry, lagging to confirm a trend, that is why we use momentum to, con to confirm a trend, 
and dynamic or static support resistance which will give you target price and stop loss. And that is the thing. Okay? Now, I don't talk about advanced methods, very advanced methods which I personally use to chart, let's say, symmetric triangle for breakouts, divergences for potential counter trend entries, or possibly, possibly those custom red levels, which are basically my red levels are static levels of support and resistance, which I use in conjunction to advanced bullish and candlestick patterns along with those and of course Camarilla. So those are all advanced, very advanced methods. But if you are a novice trader or if you are trader who have experience in trading markets, medium trader, you should only use those and you can be successful. You don't need to know advanced methods. But eventually, when you learn everything about this, you will, you will want to learn advanced methods. It's, it's step by step. If we do not learn to read or if we do not learn basics of, of let's say, of the, the life we are, we are living, we cannot learn to drive a car, okay? If we don't learn to drive a bicycle first with three wheels, it will be very hard to drive a professional sport bicycle. Or if we don't know how to kick the ball, we cannot play soccer, right? So we need to go step by step. And these, these are steps which you should, you should take into your consideration. And you will see, it will, it will just be better for you. Those are dynamic support. And what is the, the difference between dynamic and static support and resistance entries? It's very easy to determine. Dynamic support and resistance, let's say moving averages, they follow the price basically. Static support and resistance levels are predetermined historical support and resistance such as pivot points or Camarilla, which gives you each day uh, predefined levels. So price may touch this level, those levels reverse, or it may spike through the level, retest it and go for breakout pullback continuation. So, Static support resistance levels are static in nature, they do not move. Dynamic support resistance levels move each tick or each hour or each five minutes, giving you basically moving SR levels. Okay. Fibonacci indicator is the indicator which is always useful. You know about Fibonacci, me and Chris had webinar about that. I also had a webinar about about uh, Fibonacci and about how to use Fibonacci. Ha, the questions, guys. Just uh, you can ask me, but if I don't answer you now, I will answer you. I promise uh, when I finish the webinar. So. You can now ask the questions, I will see the question and I will of course answer you. Fibonacci is, you know who Fibonacci is, don't bother with that now. Now the Fibonacci numbers are 1, 1, if you add, if you add those numbers by previous number you will get a sequence. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 5 and so on, so on. In Forex, Fibonacci numbers are used to calculate targets and entry points. So Fibonacci is an indicator which can always be useful whatever you are, you are trading. Whether you are trading, trading method, trading system, trading strategy, or, or particularly you trade by indicator, 
It doesn't matter. Fibonacci will always help you. Why is that so? It's because many traders and majority of traders use Fibonacci to determine levels of support and resistance and potential entry points. Okay? Entry points. In Forex, key Fibonacci levels for retracements are those. And 78.6. I need to say that some people use 76.4. Also, a number which I use often is 88.6. But that is very deep retracement. But if you if you want to try to counter trend, you can use this number also. Edit. Another important ratios are those. But let's see how we can use Fibonacci, of course, into our trading methods. It's very easy, as I say, and this is the only truth about forex Fibonacci retracements, from left to right. I always say that you want to draw Fibonacci from the past to the present because you cannot draw it from the present to the past you won't get anything so guys if you don't know how to draw Fibonacci watch my and my or Chris webinar about Fibonacci I explained everything about Fibonacci in those webinars simple it's always drawn from left to right crucial numbers are this in uptrend and now I will explain a bit of forex gurus uh, how can I say that forex gurus def definitions if you see this this is uptrend and point A to point B is a swing high okay this is swing high this is swing low. If you draw Fibonacci from the low point to the highest point, you will get those levels, Fibonacci ratios. Those levels can give you an entry point used by confluence or used purely trading with Fibonacci numbers. The thing is, if you see this pattern, it's called upward correctional impulse but it's bullish so I, I, I have expressed myself wrong this is downward correctional impulse wave and this is upward correctional impulse wave this is bearish and this is bullish so Fibonacci retracements are basically impulse waves within a trend and that is how we use it now let me see a particular trading method also which many traders do it's very very simple and this is how they combine a basically a pivot point indicator and only a pin bar pin bar candlestick pattern. It's one candlestick pattern, but it's very common because it has a pin to the upside or pin to the downside. This is four hour time frame and those are monthly levels because if we trade four hour we can use either daily or monthly levels. Those are monthly levels of support and resistance. You see they have M in parentheses. So this is resistance, this is in, in middle, in between pivot point which also serves as resistance. If we go from downside, this is pivot point, this is mid pivot which serves as immediate support, this is the main support and so on. So these are pivot points, okay? and pivot points can be combined along with pin bars to give you a part-time trading strategy so if you're working if you have a day job 
and you want to trade market, uh, well, let's say from time to time, you don't want to scalp, you're not scalper, you, you want to trade it uh, part-time, this is one of methods you can combine, of course. Pivot points and pin bars. So you have those pivot points and you have pin, pin bars. So the thing is, you just observe price action around those pivot points. If you see this, where I made an arrow, you will see that the price got rejected. It has a pin which has closed below the support. Now it's below the resistance, in this is this example. This is also, a, the bigger the pin is, the stronger the candle is. The bigger the pin is, the stronger the candle is. This is also a bearish candle pin of the pivot point. You see the reaction. This candlestick is a hammer, bullish hammer, very close to previous support now resistance, but if you see it, if you even long it here, you would be in profits because it's a reversal pattern. It's a pin, reversal pin bar. Look at this, a rejection, perfect rejection of the resistance. It went to the upside and closed below with a pin, with a pin. You see this pin also, this. So the stronger the reaction is to pivot point, the stronger the signal is. See how the price is following those pin bars and pivot points. But we need to observe the reaction around those levels, not in between. So those kind of strategies are very, very interesting for part-time traders, for traders who cannot, who are, or have the day job and it's solely traded on one four hour and daily time frame. And sometimes risk reward can be very, very good with this particular combination of, so it can be trading method for itself, trading strategy. I cannot say trading method, because trading method, with, with a trading method, you can you can uh, trade counter trend, you can trade trend following, you can trade breakouts, you can uh, trade fake outs, that is trading method. So it's the most complex of all. This can be used as a part of a trading system. Because we use it part time and we use it on four hour and daily time frame. For this particular strategy, we use it on four hour and or daily, or daily, not lower. It should be either four hour or daily. Have in mind though that if you use daily time frame, your stops will be a lot bigger than four hour time frame. So I suggest four hours for this kind of strategy pivot points and pin bars, so many people use just those two indicators combined together. Pin bar, pivot point. Then we go by a perfect example of the trading strategy which I already presented you. Leading, lagging, dynamic. So in this example, we can see all of those indicators combined together but giving a good trading system because we have dynamic levels of support and resistance, AMAs. We have entry indicator, stochastics, and we have a lagging indicator, MACD, to, to show us. These levels show a potential entries and immediate trend, immediate trend. It's hard to write by mouse. So this is immediate trend. This is entry signal indicator, stochastic. And this is, this is a lagging 
indicator, it's MACD 3489-34, which captures the trend and follows the price. It's a, a lagging momentum indicator in this case. So we have combined effectively a leading, a lagging, and dynamic indicator to give us a trading strategy. If I if I would put CCI here, it would be bad because we already have stochastics. If I put RSI, it's why should we put RSI? We have MACD. If we put additional indicators, it, it's useless because we have already a good combination of leading, lagging, and dynamic. So we don't need to cluster many indicators here. It's very stupid to do that. And I would never suggest. I, I see that many of you are newcomers. And uh, I see that many of you doesn't know about this trading method. I Guys, just try to find Admiral Markets webinar about scalping I presented this system as scalping and I think there is also there is also a compilation of indicators used for this for this system settings you can see it on the charts 8 1 3 13 1 3 overlaid overlaid <laughs> this strategy is solely done on 5 minute time frame 5 minute time frame okay and you can find it under you just go to Admiral Markets webinars and you can you can find it. It's archived, it's it's uploaded as scalping systems, so you can find the complete strategy under scalping methods, okay? But I I didn't use it now to promote that that strategy. It's good, although it's good. I say it's it's a good one. But the, the thing is that I want to I want to motivate you, all of you, to try to find maybe basic, basic trading system and to find, to try a, to trade basically something which can be effective but, is, but it is basics. And you can do it by combining only one or indicators of those types, one leading, one lagging, one dynamic or static, whatever. You don't I just want to teach you to stay away from clustered clustered charts. You don't need it. For more advanced methods, then you need to know what triangle is, what uh, potential wedge can be, what uh, channel is, what divergence is. So those are advanced methods, but if you are basically a new to medium experienced trader, then you should know this. And not many traders will tell you about that, because they think if they make a system or method which combines 13 indicators or 6 indicators, whatever, it looks better and it's effective and I say, and I say it's not effective it is not effective because the strength of indicator is shown by its own if stochastic is stronger than CCI why would I put CCI here on these settings for this method stochastics is the best so we don't need CCI we don't need any other we don't need two entry indicators we need only one I explained that at the start of the webinar. Yes, you just know to, to... So, quick review of the system. Red above blue, it means the market is in sell mode. We need to see that MACD is also in sell mode, red above blue. Then we wait for retracement. And this is the entry point for this system. Now I will I will just give a brief explanation because this webinar is not about trading this method strategy. It's about it's about to motivate you to find the, or if you want to create some systems to combine it into effective systems. So these are entry points for short trades.
Okay. This is long here. We have here a long side. So this is the good point to entry. So it's around this. Okay. But as I say, it's a simple, but it is very effective strategy. See? Simple but effective. 3455 EMA, as I as I remember correctly. 3455, but you can check it under under videos. I think it's 3455 EMA. Next thing. You can combine Fibonacci and Bollinger bands also. So in this example, we have combined basically Fibonacci which serves as entry indicator and Bollinger Bands which serve as trend, capture indicator and dynamic support and resistance. So this is also interesting. Oh guys, you are you're just asking me questions about about this one. <laughs> Should I answer it now? And and please then we can continue to our to next topic. Stochastic indicator in this example and usually under many trading strategies and systems is used to give you an entry point. Stochastics is used to give you an entry point. So in this example, if you see that the trend is down, confirmed by this red line over blue line and this red line over blue line here, we need to see the stochastics up the 80 and then trying to break from up to below here. So in this thing, the entry point should be around here. Okay? And also here. And also here. So stochastics give you overbought, oversold conditions and based on overbought, oversold algorithmic equation, it give you a potential for an entry. Okay? So that is about stochastics. So now please guys, concentrate on the webinar and if you want to see uh, that particular method in action, uh, just watch uh, our videos about, uh, about uh, scalping methodology, okay? Now look at this. This is Fibonacci and Bollinger Bands, basically uh, two indicator trading strategy. Why do I say that? It's because in this example Fibonacci is used as entry indicator and Bollinger Bands are used as dynamic support and resistance level but also as trend capture. If Bollinger Bands and the middle line is going upward then we see that the trend is to the upside. If the trend is go, if this line, the middle line is going down and uh, bands are spread out, then we see that the trend is to the downside. So how can we combine it? Look at this example. First we had a consolidation. Oops, sorry. Sorry, this is my mistake. Uh, let me check back to the chart. We can see that in this point we have a consolidation. It's defined by Bollinger Bands moving sideways and they are very narrow. When they start to converge, like in this example, and the price is going up and this middle line is going up, we can see that that is a uptrend. Now we need to see the start of retracement. This is the end. How we know that this is the end? Because one, uh, one, two, three candles after that, or this candle after, it didn't make a new high. It start to retrace. So we want to draw a retracement. Immediately after this candle closes, we draw the retracement tool from the light or left to the right. And then we can see that this level, 38.2, 61.8, is being shown. Now, you see this, the price is went up and then it went down and now it 
bounced off 38.2, closed back into Bollinger Bands. This candle is an entry signal. This is how Bollinger Bands are traded. When you see a candle breaking through a Bollinger Band and then afterwards closing inside it, it's a signal. So we have made a confluence here because we have a Bollinger Band broken, 38.2 FIBO touched, and next candle closed into, into a Bollinger Band. And this is uptrend. So this is retracement in uptrend. A corrective wave, this was only a correction, corrective impulse wave to the downside. In this example, you see how short trade is taken. The candle has made a high, then a retracement. When we see that retracement has been done, even those, I didn't put FIBO on this. I just draw from here to here. And you see 61.8. Even though if we made our entry around here, it will be profitable later. So also one of examples how you can combine uh, those simple two indicators into trading method. So Fibonacci for entry points, Bollinger Bands for trend definition to define and capture a trend and for dynamic support and resistance levels. Okay. So, what is the general consensus? General consensus is to make use of one leading, one lagging, and dynamic support indicator. This is to show you uh, by points, leading, lagging, and dynamic. But only one of those indicators. So, only one of those indicators. One leading one lagging and one dynamic and support resistance or static support and resistance, whatever you prefer. For entries, we use either Fibonacci retracement or a well-known entry indicator such as CCI stochastics or MACD. We use a lagging indicator to confirm the trend. We use leading indicator to confirm an entry or immediate trend direction depending on settings. So depending on settings, we use leading indicator to give us immediate trend or confirm an entry, a signal for entry. And if we use specific entry indicator, then we use it only to pinpoint an entry. For place, placing stop loss and Target price, we use either dynamic or static support and resistance levels. So we can use either moving averages, Bollinger Bands as dynamic levels to support and resistance, or we can use static uh, indicators such as Camarilla pivot points, daily hourly pivot points, Woody pivot points, whatever. For specific methods such as Camarilla trading, of course, we need to use more sophisticated knowledge because Camarilla, uh, trader asked me what Camarilla is. Camarilla is one of the most advanced indicators which show perfectly fine L3, H3 levels which we use to trade intraday. It's a pivot point basically indicator, but which, is, which in my practice has been most sophisticated and most Pro, uh, profitable, <laughs> most accurate so far, Camarilla. So that is what your general consensus is. And I will show you that system which was very good some five years ago, six, I don't, I just cannot remember. It was maybe in the year of 19, of uh, no, no, it was the year of 29 of in the year of 2008, I just cannot remember, but it was a very effective system back in the days. Now I will show you why it's not effective. General consensus, don't cluster the chart with too many indicators, especially if the market conditions have changed. That means that market is constantly changing. 
more and more retailers jump in to trade. Volatility, a big excessive volatility is created. That is why systems which worked five, ten years ago don't work anymore. Because their volatility has increased. Many, uh, many guys, traders, girls, whatever, who didn't know about trading, now trade. And they have invested the money creating a bigger volatility. So some strategies that were successful three to ten years ago just simply don't work anymore. Good thing is always to follow the market conditions and have deep understanding of intraday levels for scalping or positioning for a day, weekly for intraweek and midterm analysis and fundamental analysis. Because those shifts in fundamentals can create a spike. And now I will get back also to 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 that euro dollar trade which we have which we had today and last few days. If you remember the session recap, I told you to buy lower. I also told you for pound to buy lower. And to be honest, the pound was the biggest winner. The biggest winner of that potential setup because I told you if you watch the webinar session recap last I gave you an exact levels where to put a long order in, where to put stop loss and where to put target price. After a day it has been hit. But basically what happened? Those spikes in fundamental analysis gave us a confirmation also for the price. If you see the, the, the euro dropped down to 34.40 and subsequently went to 34, 35.40 today, 35.50 was. So fundamental analysis can shift the intraday in a single direction. Today very good numbers came for European Union and the euro dollar went up. Tomorrow we, it will be FOMC so we will see it may yet down go down again. So you, you just if you combine those indicators into a trading strategy or system, you also need to know fundamental analysis. You cannot follow blindly those systems. And that is the worst mistake if you don't use common sense that you simply blindly follow the system. There is also a, a niche inner feeling which I say gut feeling, which tell you go in the trade or go out of trade. It, it is, you need to practice that gut feeling. So eventually after three, four years of experience it will give you inner cues to trade or not. If you're not sure what to do, always consult a professional and experiment with methodology. If you want to create your trading system, you need to demo trade it first. You need to demo trade it first to see if it's efficient or not. Not just doing back test. You need to effectively trade it on demo account. But trade it as you would trade basically, basically a, a real life system. Okay. And the next thing is what, what which I promise to you is to show you a system which was very very interesting some five six seven ten years ago just as I say I cannot remember but today that system is not effective anymore and now just watch the screen for I don't know half a minute and tell me would you know to trade one very effective system today what do you think could you trade this kind of trading system. I would like to see at least a couple of answers and then I will tell you what I also think. But don't listen to me, just watch the chart and tell me would, could you trade it today, this kind of strategy. I don't have any answer now. But I don't think, because no one has answered me with yes or no, I presume that 
probably too many indicators. Of course, you don't know. There is there is also one of correct answers. No. No, guys. No one have gave me a clear answer except except Goran and John. John said he doesn't know well to be honest, it was an honest answer. Uh, some of you gave a completely wrong explanation, but at least, guy, you tried. At least you tried. This is how this system should be traded. And this is why it's not effective anymore. This is MACD used for immediate trend. Today, 12.26.9 is used as momentum. In this particular system, MACD was used as immediate trend. 30-60-30 is MACD indicator which captures a trend, a longer trend, medium to longer trend. Okay? And stochastic indicator on these settings is, is used to give us an exact entry point, either over, oversold or overbought. The thing is that we also have 6 and 23 EMA to give us a direction of the trend. So general consensus for these strategies, if, if black, which is 23 EMA, is above 6 EMA, which is uh, um, red, that means that the trend is down. If blue is above, is, if blue is above, uh, uh, sorry, if red is uh, above blue, then it means that the trend is to the downside. Also, same here. So all of these indicators should be aligned to give an entry point. So in this entry point, stochastic should be like this, going from the up to the downside, crossing 75. And basically what happened is, is that this system doesn't work. You see, this is fake signal. You cannot trade this because this is here. You see this crisscross of this EMAs, it doesn't work. Now we have a long, possibly long trend here. Here is a potential entry which is good. But also we have parabolic star which give our stop loss levels. This is one good entry now. This is bad. None of those are good. This is also bad. Look at this whipsaw. Look at this whipsaw. Look at this whipsaw here. Downtrend, uptrend, downtrend. This is very, very bad. This is downtrend, uptrend, downtrend. You just cannot have a good entry. This is what? Nothing. So that strategy, which was effective, some time ago, it's not effective only because, because conditions have changed and MACD is used wrong, it's used wrongly. It's not uh, correct anymore, anymore to, to trade MACD with these numbers and with these numbers as immediate and longer term direction. Also stochastic, so this setting is not valid anymore. So this is why we need to switch and why we need to adapt to current market conditions. So guys, now I have a trading camp starting. Uh, we have already exceeded a bit of our time for webinar, so thank you very much for attending the webinar. As I say, this webinar was, was, uh, is happening to, to give you guidelines to how to combine indicators, what trading systems you should trade or what uh, systems you should particularly take a look at and what you should not do if you want to buy a system or if you want to trade a system. Okay? And this once very effective system, it's very, very bad. So guys, uh, I, will, I need to move to trading camp. I will, I, will, uh, I will have again webinar about Fibonacci numbers. Don't worry. If you want it, I will make it again. And about indicators, Again, I, I will 
again make a webinar if you if you don't want to watch it you can watch it we had all of those webinars on our uh, it, 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 they are all uploaded to Admiral Markets website but yet again guys if you want me to explain you again I will do it you just write me email whatever I will do it again uh, only one MACD webinar I will make only a webinar about MACD in near future okay guys Thank you very much for attending webinar. Uh, page FIBO. Okay, here is page FIBO. Here is retracement. FIBO retracement. So, also, if you want to to watch FIBOs, we have we have special webinars about about Fibonacci's, me and Chris. So you can take a look. You can take a look at uh, Admiral Markets uploaded videos. So, thank you again for watching guys and bear with us. We will be here for many months more. So, I will I will gladly explain what to do. Thank you very much and see you on Trading Camp or maybe I will see you very soon tomorrow. Thank you very much and bye-bye.